also got this brioche bread. It looks so good. It's so moist. Definitely had to run these back, okay? Because they were so good. Nice little midnight snack. Finally got this. I'm so excited. Oh my God, I saw pumpkin waffles in this lady's cart and I had to hunt her down like, where'd you get those? Definitely Chinese. They also have this harvest suit with pumpkin and butternut squash. I'm low-key thinking about getting it, but I don't know. I'm on the fence about it. And they have butternut squash soup. A lot of fall things. Yes, fall things. And now it's time for our haul. First up, we have the premium peeled garlic. I literally get this garlic solely based off the packaging alone because I love that it conceals the garlic smell inside of the package and it doesn't linger around in my refrigerator contaminating my other foods, okay? Next up, I have the baby cauliflower. This is a must have on my list every time I go to TJ's. I love using this in my air fryer, drizzle a little olive oil, some herbs and spices on there and pair it with like a protein and carb and it's good to go for a quick and easy meal. Next up, I have the basil. So guys, let's get into this basil, okay? Because I've been having the hardest time trying to find fresh basil. And this basil was absolutely beautiful. It was so vibrant and it tastes amazing. So shout out to Trader Joe's for this basil. Like, look at it. It's blinking, okay? All right, up next, we have the organic romaine lettuce. Of course, the packaging is what sold me because it keeps the lettuce so fresh, but I love using these for lettuce wraps or a quick salad for lunch. Definitely on my list every time I go. Next up, we have the goat of all breads. No, I'm just kidding, but it's definitely up there. So this bread is really good. It's like a French vanilla taste. It's very soft, it's very moist, and you can use this for French toast or maybe just like regular toast with a little bit of compound butter, or you could just snatch a slice out of the bag and eat it as is. That's how good it is. Next, we have the cinnamon sugar bread. Now, no tea, no shade, but this bread was just okay. Flavor was there, however, I just wish it was just a little bit more moist or a little bit more fresh, and it would have been perfect. Next, we have the pumpkin waffles. I actually grabbed two boxes of these, and I wish Trader Joe's sold these year round because they were just so good. Light and fluffy, the right amount of spices. Like, oh my God, like Trader Joe's. Please make this a year-round product. I beg of thee, okay? Because me and Skyland, we smash these. <laughs> Next up, I have the apple blossoms. I get these every time I go to Trader Joe's. These are my midnight snack uh, delights, if you will. So I love popping them in the air fryer in the microwave and just chow down. All right, up next we have the crushed ginger. These you just store right into your freezer and you use it when needed. So I typically use these for my smoothies or for an Asian dish that I'm making for the night. Pop out a cube and keep it moving. All right, next up we have the Mandarin Orange Chicken, AKA Panda Express at home. Okay, so these are really, really good. I recommend everyone to get them quick and easy meal. Next, I have the beef birria. Oh my God, I was so excited to try this because I've been seeing it all over my Instagram and I cannot wait to pair it with like some shin ramyun. Oh, I already know it's gonna be so good, but I think I should do a mukbang with this guys and give like a review. I think it deserves that. Stay tuned. Next up, we have the honey roasted pumpkin ravioli. It is a cheesy pumpkin filled ravioli. And guys, I cannot wait to cook this and try this out. I'll definitely let you know. I think this will pair well with like a roasted garlic cream sauce of some sort. Mmm, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So stay tuned for the details on how good this one was. I'll let you guys know. Hi. <laughs> Next up, we have the pumpkin bread and muffin mix. I haven't made these yet. I'm actually going to save this for Thanksgiving so I can make it for breakfast. So I'll let you guys know how this tastes. I'm sure it's delicious, but yeah, give it a try if you find it. Um, I also got some shaved beef steak while I was at TJ's as well. These are going with my lettuce wraps for the week, and you can actually get two meals out of that. It's a good amount. Next, I have some apple cider donuts. Oh my God, I feel like I have so many sweets, but it is the fall, so I get a pass. These were okay. It's a little too sweet for me, but still good though. Still good. Next, I have the spicy chakra mix. I don't know if I said that right, and if I mispronounced it, I'm sorry, but I haven't opened these just yet. They're still sitting in my pantry, but I'll let, definitely let you guys know. I'm pretty sure they're delicious because who doesn't like Indian style snacks? Come on guys, duh. 
Um, next up, I have the uh, Trader Joe's Italian Orzo. I did use this Orzo to make like a Cajun uh, chicken andouille sausage pasta. Um, and it was actually pretty good, I'm not gonna lie to you. So yeah, if you have received it, go ahead and grab you some. I also grabbed some Fusilli pasta. This is actually one of my favorite pasta shapes because it captures a lot of sauce in one bite. I love pairing this pasta with like a tomato-based sauce or a cream sauce. So if you're looking to jazz up a pasta dish, choose that one. Next up, we have some masala simmer sauce. I'm sure this is delicious. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm thinking about pairing this with some chicken over some basmati rice and of course a little side of vegetables. So if I, when I do try it, I'll let you guys know how it tastes. Next up, I have some lemon, ginger, and cayenne juices. I thought the cayenne would be overpowering, but it's actually the lemon and I'm not mad at it. So if you're looking for juices, here they are. Next up, I have my all-in-one facial cleanser and I've been buying this for a few months now and it's actually been working. I love that it exfoliates, but it's very gentle on my skin and it has me glowing, okay? Next up, I have some green onions, which are a staple in my kitchen and this goes in everything, okay? Talk about flavor. Next up, I have some Greek yogurt, of course, plain. I've been using this um, solely for the probiotics, but also I love marinating my proteins in it, as well as topping it off with like some fresh fruit and some grains. So guys, that concludes our Trader Joe's fall haul. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it and eating it. So if you guys found some items, please let me know in the comment section. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you know when your girl is posting a new video. Thank you all so much much for watching. I love you all. Bye-bye.